On this episode, I'm going to show you the easiest, simplest DIY car curtain screens or bug screens for camping out, van life, anything like that, where you need to keep the bugs, mosquitoes out of your car. This is dirt simple, super cheap, no cutting, no gluing. You can see here I've got a 2009 Honda CRV, but this should work with any vehicle. So I was looking for a simple method where I didn't have to start cutting and sewing and doing a whole bunch of stuff just to make this work. And I remember these magic mesh things. I've seen them at the dollar store before. If you're not familiar with, with, with these, it's just a piece of mesh that has magnets. You can see it's attached here. And these magnets, they're supposed to block out mosquitoes from getting in your front door. So you just put these on the side of your door. It comes with some glue strips and then you can just magnet the middle so you can still get in and out of your door. So we're gonna use this on our vehicle. So for my vehicle, I can use this in one big piece all the way along the side, and all we're gonna do is pinch this in with popsicle sticks. That's it, it works super well, and I can guarantee you mosquitoes aren't getting in there. So what we're gonna do is open the doors. So what we're gonna do is fold this in half and hold it in the center. So now for my vehicle, I wanna put it right dead center between the two doors here. And the magnets, they're heavy enough that it'll pull the screen off. So you want to set one side while you're holding it up and then you can do the other side. So once I set this here and I'm holding this with my hand, I can take these magnets now and set them out here. You can slide it a little bit too, if you need to. And now this side's perfect, we can do the other side. Now this side goes up really easily. You just want to make sure to be delicate with it. What I do is I set a magnet and I hold it and I put the next one up. And that way it won't pull it off. And the last one here, I just, um, I fold it over on itself and tuck it right in here. And then I just push into the corner a bit. And because my rubber gasket thing here is a little bit loose, I can take this and pull it across and tuck it in there. So now it's got a little bit of tautness to it. When I shut the doors, We've got the basis of our screen on there. Now we just need to tuck it in so mosquitoes can't come in the bottom. Now for my vehicle on one side, it only takes three popsicle sticks, two for the front over here and one back here. This is really simple. So all we do is take the, the front corner here and you wanna pull this side out and lay the black webbing on the end right where the, the window is. Then we hold this with our finger, you grab this side, pull this out nice and tight and get this into the same spot. And once we get that, pull it tight all we're going to do is take a popsicle stick and put exactly in the same groove where the window is, but with the webbing. So it pinches it in there like that. And you just push it down and then you can just take, pull this in here nice and tight right in the corner and same thing, tuck it in there, push it down nice and tight. You don't have to worry about these getting stuck in there because when you pull this out, it'll, it'll pull it with it. And that's it. There's no, there's no gaps here at all. I mean, technically you could probably dig your fingers in there, but for a mosquito, they're not getting in there. Now for the back window, I already tucked it into the rubber gasket there, so it's already pretty taut across here. Now we just need to get the bottom, so we're just going to pull this up and just slide the, the black uh, webbing on the end up here. And all we want to do is just get a piece of it and just slide that in there and just press it down nice and firm. And that's it, no mosquitoes getting in there. So just give you a closer look. Obviously it's not completely taut. If you want something that looks super nice, then it, you know, we gotta start sewing and custom building stuff. This is dirt cheap and super simple. Gets the job done in a couple minutes and this thing only costs five bucks. You can see there's no gap in here and realistically, this is just for mosquitoes and bugs and letting air flow in. Um, if there's some mice or rats or people, obviously they can easily rip through this like it's nothing. So while this isn't gonna win any awards for looking awesome, it uh, it solves my major problem. Last year I was sleeping in Moab and multiple other places in, in the States and I was just getting so hot and either had to roll the windows down and risk someone reaching in and being able to steal something or being super hot in my vehicle. So this solves both problems. What you can also do is get like a little bell from the dollar store if you want and just attach it to some part of this. So if somebody does pull the screen, then it'll start jingling the bell and you'll wake up. That way you have a little bit of security and then you can keep a knife next to you or something if you're worried about that. For me, if I'm gonna be sleeping like this, I'm probably not gonna be in a populated area. I'm not gonna be in a parking lot. I'm gonna be out in the woods. Somewhere I'll be private, but I want some airflow in my vehicle. Now for getting these popsicle sticks out, all we're gonna do is grab the mesh and pull it up. And that's it, they come right out just like that. You can see the first one and the second one, it just pops right out, doesn't do any damage. I should note this Magic Mesh product actually comes with two screens in one box. So you just need one box for your entire vehicle. 
And a simple breakdown for the cost of this is a dollar for <laughs> all those popsicle sticks, like 50 of them. You only need basically six for the entire vehicle. Six popsicle sticks and it was $5.50 Canadian for those magic mesh. I got them at the dollar store. So check your local dollar store. You can also buy them online. I think they're a little bit more expensive. So just depending where you get those things, even for 20 bucks, it's still gonna be a good deal because you won't be able to find anything like that for that price. Um, $5, let alone even $20 to get screens on your vehicle. If you don't have a dollar store near you, you can potentially just find some sort of screen mesh material and do the same thing. Um, one other thing to note is I, I considered cutting them in half. That would be a little bit easier putting them up with the magnets, but then you would have problems with the gaps between the doors. So if I cut it, this part here would no longer be connected, right? It'd be cut down the middle there, which then this spot, when you when you pull it across and tighten it, you might get a gap right here. So that's the reason why I didn't cut it in half. So it's a little bit more obnoxious to say you have to put it up. You have to do it delicately, but then you get full coverage because this is all connected as one piece. The other option you can do is potentially add a single magnet in the middle. Um, you can take out the middle one or just add another one to it that's a lot stronger. That way you can just put up the one magnet and the whole thing doesn't fall down. I might add that as an add-on eventually. I'll see if it gets kind of obnoxious over time, but really if, if you're delicate putting it up, you put up the, the first two and then put your hand in there and hold it while you put them up, it works perfectly fine. If you want to get this stuff on Amazon, I'll link it up in the description down below. Hopefully you guys got some value out of this and helps you out on your van life adventures. If you want to check out some of my adventures, I'm an adventure filmmaker. I go places people have never filmed and people never go out into the bush and film amazing mountains, that, that sort of stuff. So if that's your jam, you can check out one of these videos here and I'll see you on the next episode.